We are reacting to the Japanese national team ratings for the upcoming EA Sports FC game. This is going to be part of a series. In the comments, let us know which national team you want us to do next. Hit subscribe so you don't miss that video and leave a like as always. All right, so we're looking at the top five Japanese players in the game. I'm going to be honest, it's a damn solid team right here. I feel pretty good only seeing uh, the top five. I mean, four players above 80 on the Japan squad. That's crazy, dude. Asia on the come Shit, up. if you... I, I feel like whenever we played with them uh, back in high school, it was... Oh. Was there anyone rated 72? I think I think in one year, Keisuke Honda was like an 81 or an 80. But that's because his free kick accuracy was like a 94 and like the other stats were kind of average. And his calf rating, his calf oh. size brought up his physical uh uh his physical yes. to what 89 89 five star calves for sure but yeah. and maybe Kagawa was a 78 for like a decade i want to say now he was in the 80s at one point too but then it just i don't know who was third best probably nakatomo i mean it was a steep it was a steep decline and look we're just looking at the top five here it's not a steep decline like we're gonna see a very healthy national team pool some very healthy ratings if okay. you can in fact play as japan in ea sports fc this is the team that i might pick every single time because they they stacked everywhere um yeah i mean if you look at the top five right here you have an 81 cam in kamada mm -hmm. you you pretty much have a midfield if you include mitoma and kubo as you know part of that midfield you know excluding a striker locked down you know, I don't know of a, a like another national team off the top of my head, especially in Asia. No, sir. That looks this good. No, sir. No, sir. Look at that. You got you got 84 pace, 84 pace, 88 pace. You just sprint in it, boys, in this game. Yeah, that's crazy. And then Junior Ito, I feel we haven't talked about him yet. This is a weird photo of him, I must say. But uh, it looks a little old. 88 pace for Ito. Do you think he should have edged out the 90 there? I think if you gave him Dude, a, it's quick. I think if you gave him the 90, it's it's a fair rating, to be honest. I actually think they did Matoma a little dirty. I think he should be maybe at 87 pace. So so I'm looking at this. The fourth one is dribbling, right? Yeah. And let's just look at the top rope. Okay. Kamada, Endo, and Mid and uh and Matoma. Mm. We're saying Matoma, everyone believes Matoma's dribble god. Man has a thesis in dribbling. Mm -hmm. He's only two points higher than Kamada. Is Kamada the assistant TA to this this dribbling school? To the professor, I, I um, he is. But is he? Are he and Kubo both two points? I mean, that mean to me, two points is neck and neck. That means you right there. And I'm sorry, with all due respect to oh, Kamada, yeah. he is not inches away from being Mitoma's dribble level. There's no chance. Like if there's, they actually, he should be a top five dribbler in the game, Mitoma. Yes, he should be in the nineties, and so I'm kind of curious to see what EA Sports' uh, ratings are for, you know, actual proven historical dribble gods like Messi, Neymar, and mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, are those guys a hundred? Uh, I don't know, but I I just cannot understand somebody having like a plus twelve dribble rating potentially on Mitoma. What does it even look like? That means like. You literally cannot get the man off the ball. I don't know. I, I do think that rating is Or a bit it's soft. the dude. Uh, I'm trying to think of the dude's name. Have you watched Blue Lock? No, I haven't. You told me it wasn't that good. Blue Lock? Yeah, you and Connor said it was kind of mid. Uh, we must be talking about it, a different anime. The soccer one? Yes, yes, I'm very aware of what Blue Lock is. Hmm. Well, anyways, those guys, when they're, there's like a few characters in there that like their main, you know, each... Mm -hmm. Each character has like their own uh, special um, ability. Like, yeah, like what they're good at. You know, some guys are really fast. Some guys have like okay. are really good at like mid shot volleys and stuff. Okay. There's one guy who has like really good control and really good dribbling. Okay. And I feel that Matoma is that guy. I think his name is Bachira. Bachira? Comment down below yeah. if that's Bachira from Blue Lock. It has to be. You know what's also kind of crazy here is the 75 physicality for Wataro Endo. I feel like it's got to be 80. I said I said it off camera. If you if you're ranking CDMs in world football, I mean he's he's up there. He's not top 5, but you can make, make an argument he's in that 10 to 15 yeah. range. 
That's a that's a fair shout. I think a 79 defense as well, when you look at both of those stats, is a little low for what he is capable of. Okay, I'm going to say it like and this. what he has been doing. I'm going to say it like this. If both of those stats are clear of Tyler Adams, I'm all right with it. If Tyler Adams has the same or better, I'm I'm furious. Yeah, that's that's fair. I I would be shocked if anyone anyone with any ball knowledge would rate Tyler Adams above Endo. I think that would say a lot if they did. Comment down below. Let's go on to six through ten. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, we have, we have the dude. we have the tenth best Japanese player. We're looking at a seventy-seven. Oh my god. Bro, they clear in Mexico right now. I keep on telling people like it's it's unbelievable. Look at this, look at this midfield. You got like the Again. the fifth highest or sixth highest midfielder. One of these guys ain't gonna start, and you got a seventy eight coming off the bench. Yeah, that's insane for a national team that has. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just for Japan, you know, I go back to when we played FIFA a lot together. Never, ever, ever saw an Asian team like this. Never. No, never, ever. And I, I, I'm going to be honest. It's pretty crazy to see Tomiyasu, a defender, this high. Do you think the 78 rating for Tomiyasu is fair, though? I think it could be a 77, if not a 76, and I'd be okay with it. I think having him below 80 is fair. Yeah, I actually think he's almost a little fortunate to have the 78 i think even 77 might be a bit more accurate just because of the lack of playing time at arsenal um like he's a good defender don't get me wrong but i don't think there's an argument for tomiyasu to be like an 80 81 i don't think we've seen that yet no what do we think about furuhashi being 77 the highest rated striker in the japanese team in this game What is uh where is Maeda at? Seventy six? He's gotta be like right next to him. He's not. You want me to tell you where he is? Yeah. He's seventy four. I don't think that their their rating is that much different. Yeah. I agree. I'm kinda surprised by this. The eighty eight pace, bro, that's I mean, I seen Furuhashi play. I didn't think he was like, that's like cheetah quick. That's like Tyreek Hill fast that's like blitzing yeah, yeah that's that's i mean that is junior ito's pace i don't know like i know he is quick i just don't know if i'd put it that high yeah that's kind of it's kind of interesting i'm also noticing a theme here we got two more guys right here doan and hatate with that 80 or better dribble stat the co the composure and control in this japanese midfield is unparalleled the technicality yes you know the technical ability of these Top 10. I, I mean, everyone's got, you know, even Tommy Austin's got plus 70 dribbling. Which I think is fair. He's, he's decent on the ball. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you go to England and you look at their defenders, I mean, I bet some of them are in the 50s dribbling. They should be. They should you know? be. Tyrone Minks, 55. <laughs> well, Maguire, he's, a, he's an Ooh, 89. One star weak foot. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's keep it going to 11 through 15. Okay. I want to take a quick break to remind you guys to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so and to follow us on social media links in the description. So you know all about our upcoming videos and live streams. Now back to the video. I really like that Sugawara got the 76. He got the plus two. He was 74 in the last game. And I think that's justified. Nakamura is the highest rated goalkeeper in the Japanese pool. What we think about that. I don't know what to think. Um, I mean, 76 for an Asian goalkeeper, that's pretty, pretty up good. I, I mean, I would not be surprised if he's the best, you know, from a rating standpoint. Oh, in all of Asia or just Japan? In all of Asia. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want to spoil something coming later, but uh, no. Oh. Looks like he didn't break into the team until the, the EAFF E1 in 2017. And then basically went six years without playing. So maybe he is, maybe he next up. I don't know. Maybe Gonda's fallen by the wayside and now Nakamura's got it unlocked for the Asian Cup. I don't know. Yeah. Has has he started recently for Japan? Just the Turkey game. Did you just Tur say that? Turkey okay, and Peru. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turkey and Peru. Yeah, okay. 
I don't know. Interesting. O- overall, I think these are really solid. Nakamura, also the uh, different different Nakamura. Um, I think he had 14 goals or something uh, for his club last season before getting the transfer move to France. Hey, I think it's a beautiful thing. Again, we're we're on the 15th best player for Japan. We're still at 75. Like that is just so. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to shout out. We have three defenders on this Japan team that are above shit 70. I, I mean, like that's, that's how low the bar is. I feel yes. like. Yes. Yes. Dude, we have the like, entire starting back line for Japan above a 75. And they're all young guys. Yeah. So this is just like the starting point. I feel like. Correct. It's crazy. Correct. That's like just, I better, I, I don't know what the potential rating is, but I better be seeing a couple eighties in there. That's all I'm saying. And then that would be just, monumental for the asian continent um okay and so here are some uh just random ones some of these are not in order but i had to throw them on here uh okay. we talked about maeda earlier i don't know if he's three points worse than furuhashi i don't i don't know yeah i think not getting the gold card as well that's kind of some bald hate honestly Interesting. from 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 ea discrimination bald hate discrimination yeah you know what they didn't discriminate against though <sighs> you see that 92 Ooh. pace right there Yo, I, I, yeah, yeah, that's that's blitzing. They got him above Asano, the Jaguar. That, that's that crazy, fact. dude. I mean, he is that fast is as hell, fast. but I mean, dude, I'm telling you, like this Japanese team in this game is about to be sweaty, sweaty. You're just going to be running at people. Yeah, it's good. It, it's good. It's really good. The Minamino silver card. Okay. okay. Was he gold before? Yes. I feel like he was gold last last game. He was. I think when you look at his, and I'm going to say it, his full career at Liverpool, it probably deserves a downgrade. I think that that's harsh, really, really harsh from EA, but I feel it's deserved. Yeah. I think it's deserved too, although if he keeps doing what he's been doing in France to the start of the season, he's got like three goals, three assists, and three games or something, like he'll be back up to a 76. And he might even be back in the Japanese national team, even though some Japanese fans uh, don't want that to happen. I don't know what Asano's haircut is in this photo. It looks a little like anime villain to me. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. I, li- I prefer his current hairstyle, I will say. Um, Yoshida, 73, fair rating? I I was expecting lower. I feel it's a little bit overrated, but... Uh, okay. Like, like, overrated, like, actual true overrate rating. <laughs> yep. Um... But yeah, I, I mean, he's good for MLS standards, right? Oh, for MLS standards, he's great. You could even say great, yeah. So I think uh, even at his age, 70, yeah, yeah, like even at his age, you know, I think I would have been okay seeing him at a seventy-one. I think above a seventy would is the bare minimum for him. See, I think I th- I want to say he was a seventy-four or something in the last game. I don't think minus three is fair. So if he was a 74, my memory is correct. I think a minus one is a fair assessment. Gotcha. I mean, he was okay. a starter all last season, albeit his club got relegated, Schalke, and captains Japan at the World Cup and has a good World Cup. I think going from 74 to 71 would be like, that would be disrespectful. Yeah. That would be disrespectful. What do you think about zion suzuki 62 i'd dig to find this guy i don't know where he ranks in the overall japanese pool but i mean for like a 19 year old Um, stats ain't bad no it's not bad i feel like having a card in fifa at that age (laughs) (laughs) just already i I, I mean does does gaga have a a card oh definitely like definitely he does you think I, i bet he does he plays for chelsea i mean well, he's on loan for some deaf, dumb, and blind team, I feel like. Uh, I forgot. But, um, but yeah, no, I just kind of threw that one in there for uh, for the laughs, for the LOLs. L- looking like a future uh, United keeper. Looking like a possibly the greatest Asian keeper when it's all said and done. That man right there. Remember the name. He, he certainly has a lot, a lot of hype riding him right now. But, yeah. Daniel Schmidt walked so Zion Suzuki could run. Yes. Honestly, yes. Last thing I'm going to say about this, I still think 73 for U8 is low. I think it's low. 
I think it's slow. I think it's an age thing, though, right? He got to be what, 23? Oh, my man. I oh, a little young no, though. bro. He's 25. Oh, okay. He's 25. How many goals do you think he had in the Belgian league last season? 12? 22. Oh! And he went from yeah. a 72 to a 73. 22 goals gets you plus one? That's unacceptable. Yeah, that's... That's discrimination. That is unacceptable. That's discrimination. Sure. Uh, okay, just real quick, at a glance, these are the top 20 in order. Some of these guys I skipped if they actually like don't play in the national team. Uh, like Fujimoto down at the bottom. But, I mean, overall, dude, it's looking like a healthy team. It's looking real nice. You got some depth. This is good. You got a lot of goals. You got 16 goals on the team. A lot of youth. A lot of youth, a lot of pace, a lot of dribbling. I mean, dude, it's they, they're going to be nasty. They're going to be nasty. This is what the 11 would look like if you went on best ratings. So it would have Furuhashi as the starting Striker. That's a pretty dirty team, and you'd probably have, what, an average rating overall for the team of above 80, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you still got Doan on the bench, Asano. Junior Ito wouldn't start if you if you went based off ratings. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Hatate's on the bench. That's like 378s right there that you can call upon if you need to. Oh, hey, they look in... I mean, you know I'm... No, this is a... You, it, it, it's a dirty lineup. It's a dirty lineup. This this is this is a team that beats the U.S. men's national team two nothing, um, and then just to end it off, these are the biggest movers. Um, I thought it was interesting of the teams that I've looked at so far. Japan by far has the fewest players who went down. The only players I saw that went down were Minamino went down one, and Hasebe went down one as well. But he's also forty years old, so I understand That's that. Fair. Oh, actually, Yoshida didn't go down at all. He was a seventy three in the last game too. Okay. So literally two of the top 25 Japanese players went down. And these are the that's, ones that went up. That's not the definition of consistency. I don't know what it is. What do we what do we think here? Any any takeaways from this? Hatate biggest mover? I think it's kind of fair. <laughs> you know the more I look at it, <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy that he's a 78. I will say I think he deserves it, but 78 is high. That's pretty... I think 78 is like regular Prem starter. Or like La, Li, La Liga, at, you know, at the least or something. Y yes. Yes. I mean, what's James Ward-Prowse? He got to be like an 81 or something, right? Like, you would you would hope, right? <laughs> yeah. But then at, at, the, at the flip side, I mean, Mitoma, not an 80. You know, he's probably like a 83. What's Rashford? Give him Rashford's rating. Rashford's probably an eighty-seven. I bet. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm no joke. I bet he is. I, I'd be. I can't even disagree with you. I think you're probably accurate. Um, yeah, man, it's a good, it's a good team. Kubo, well deserved upgrade. Fourteen goals at Sociedad last season. Beast mode. Nakamura. I think he, he got a goal against Turkey. I want to say so. Maybe he could also just provide some extra depth. For Japan and the Asian Cup going forward, Wataru Endo, he been he been uh, Stuttgart's best player for seasons now. I, I'd be pushing an eighty one for him, but that's my full bias. I'll acknowledge that. And Sugawara, my dog, dude. I mean, look at that guy. Look at that goddamn smile, bro. He is cheesing, bro. He's that, that man doesn't know fear. That man does not know fear. Overall, I'm gonna have to give. Let's give a grade for Japan. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go B plus, B plus even A minus for the accuracy. I think of these ratings. I think it's good. They did a good job here. I'm gonna go A. I'm gonna say this is generally spot on. Okay, I think it's generally spot on. Yep. There's there's a few under ratings from from EA, but other than that, I mean, they can't get them all right. Right. You know, they got to go through how many players throughout the world? Oh, I don't know. They got the interns doing it too. So, yeah. And they're not Japanese interns. They, they're probably Americans who didn't know who Kubo was until three months ago when they started the player designs. Yeah, they they see Sugawara Sudo, Sudo and they go, Sugar Wara? Water? Sugar yeah. Water. Yeah. They got yeah. Sugar Water at the right back. Yeah, that's crazy. You guys, let us know your grade for Japan down below in the comments. Let us know how sweaty this team is about to be.